So here I am supercharging at Hope, British Columbia. Just put my sunshade up. And I, in the last video, when I talked about all the kit that I bring with me um, for a camping trip, I showed that I have uh, an electric skateboard. So I just want to go over uh, this inboard. Let's put it beside the car. Let's go over this inboard. So it's an inboard M1. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's got a really good range of about 20 kilometers, 25 kilometers. And basically what I use it for is that like when I'm here in a town that I haven't really been to or um, a place where the superchargers are out of the way, that I use the uh, skateboard to get around and uh, check out the local area. So let's go check out the local area on the inboard M1. Ah, so here we are. Um, I see that there's a memorial park with a little bit of children's area and a little bit of seating area. And uh, I think the skateboard's allowed to go wherever bikes can go. So uh, I kind of share the road with cars. Um, I have an understanding at this age that I'm not as nimble as I was when I was younger. So. In Canada, especially BC, pedestrians have the right of way. However, I don't think that's so much true with skateboarders. So I'll let cars go first. Uh, the last thing I want to do is get hit and hurt. Ooh. So the inboard has three settings, like a beginner, intermediate, and advanced and I'm going with the intermediate because uh, I'm not that great at skateboarding I was really good when I was young uh, didn't have a long board just had a regular skateboard and uh, intermediate's good enough for me uh, top speed is something like 22 kilometers an hour which in reality scares the crap out of me so I'll go a little slower. This is the main drag of, well, the main side road of hope. So I'll just go where car uh, bikes can go. Over to you, sir. <laughs> I guess a tourist bus just came in. There you go. It's a bit windy. back home so as you can tell they are very handy to have especially if you're not familiar with the area uh, there's so much more to see here but it seems very busy here and uh, because I'm still pretty new with the skateboard thing uh, the last thing I want to do is get injured or hurt anyway so uh, yes the M1 is inboard they're pretty expensive brand new but I was able to find this one at about three quarter the cost uh, on eBay and the guy shipped it to me and it works hundred percent. So uh, Yeah, it's pretty handy of all the other electric skateboards or one wheels or um, Scooters I, th I think I do I would do better on the skateboard and it fits really nicely in the trunk uh, right beside my um, 
my uh, little storage bag there. Anyway, there, there you go, the inboard M1. Awesome piece of kit. Bye. So one of the great things about this uh, inboard uh, M1 skateboard, it does have an app and here you can see the app. Um, it tells you what, how much battery you got left. It tells you what level competency you are. So I'm an intermediate and there is a, an advanced setting which is just absolutely crazy. Now uh, these, the skateboard does come with uh, front LEDs that are uh, white bright and rear um, LEDs that are red so you can see they're not designed for uh, you know lighting really lighting the way it's just more so people at night or dusk can actually see that um, you know that you, that you're there um, if I go over to zero here it tells me if I have uh, any updates or available or I can go into uh, the settings and basically it says that I have gone 27 miles. I haven't been able to set it to kilometers yet, but 27 miles on this thing. Um, here it says what my user account number is, and here I get to edit some things like about what the firmware is. Um, and last but not least, there's a help center. And also it does come with a handheld, of course, a handheld uh, remote that helps you accelerate and um, slow down. And the great thing about uh, the skateboard is that when, just like the car, it has regenerative braking. So as it's rolling straight and you haven't got the power on, it's actually recharging uh, the main battery that's that's in it. Uh, what else does it have? Um, if you don't, if your handheld remote runs out of uh, power before your skateboard does, is that you actually can. Uh, operate the skateboard with your your mobile app so it um, once you know once it's all synced and stuff like that that uh, you hold down a button just like summon in a in a Tesla um, you know forward and back and brake and all that kind of stuff and uh, that's about it uh, amazing piece of kit have a lot of fun with it and uh, it's awesome anyway cheers bye